Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our YouTube channel, Simon Laboratories. Today we will be introducing a new um, invention in the world of music. Uh, this is the quarter tone controller box, Tune Maestro. The Tune Maestro comes with great features that are helpful to the musician, whether it's live on stage or in studios. We'll go into the details, so stay tuned. Welcome back. Let's take a quick overview of the Tune Maestro. The Tune Maestro, as you can see, has the 12 keys representing the keyboard scale. It also has two keys for the transpose up or transpose down. We also incorporated in here a large display at a size of 1.8 inch to make it easy for the musician to set the, 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 the device. And for the first time, the Tune Maestro has the data encoder that helps the musician select any micro tuning he or she wishes. So right now, for example, the musician is not stuck to minus 50, they can assign any tuning they want using the data encoder. It's a great feature, and we'll go into details for it. Also, the Toolmaster com Tool comes with three MIDI ports, three MIDI in and three MIDI out. We also added one more great feature to the Tool Maestro that makes it very, very outstanding as the four keys here, as you can see, which represent the maqams. They are also the same keys used for presets. So for example, if a musician wants to deploy a certain maqam, it's very simple. All they have to do is press a button and then assign the key to it. Same keys can be used as presets. So for example, if the musician wishes to deploy a certain tuning to a certain key using the data encoder, now they can select certain keys, apply the certain micro tuning, and then save that setup in one of the presets. These are the great features of the, micro, of the Tune Maestro that makes it an outstanding device. We've also added the expression pedal, as you can see, that allows the musician to add that instrument to their system. The Tune Maestro works off of USB, uh, power and it's uh, easy to set up. We'll go through the settings, so stay tuned. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to, through the setting process of the Tune Maestro. As we had mentioned to you, the great features of the Tune Maestro are actually um, uh, a number of them, and we'll go through each one of them. But before we do that, we have to set it up so that it's usable on the, on, the, on the keyboards that are connected to. So for example, to start the setting process, all we have to do is click the setup button for three seconds. As you can see, uh, four LEDs will start flashing, which are the C sharp, D sharp, e, uh, F sharp, and G sharp. Um, each one of these buttons actually uh, means a menu. So for example, uh, C sharp means the main quarter tone of the device. What does that mean? Simply it means that uh, I can choose any quarter tone I want that whenever I turn a quarter tone on it's going to deploy that specific tuning. So for example if I am from the Middle East typically we use minus 50. If I am from for example Turkey uh, we could use minus 38, minus uh, 35 depending on which region or even uh, in Greece we can use minus 40 for example. I'm just using these numbers as um, uh, examples. Don't take me for granted but just as examples. So you can apply certain tuning that you want on the Tune Maestro. So for right now, for the, for the purpose of this demo, we'll use minus 50. So I'm gonna click on C sharp, and then choose minus 50, as you can see. But now, notice this, that if I go in the negative zone, the, the data encoder will turn LED to red. If I go to the positive zone, the same data encoder will turn to green. As you can see, the green LED, and if I go back to the minus 50, it will turn to red LED. This indicates I'm in the negative zone. I'm gonna confirm it by either pressing the C sharp, MQT, or the data encoder. From here, I'll go to the MIDI channel menu, which is the D sharp. Once I click on the D sharp, you notice that I have three keys that came on, C, D, and E. And each one of these keys actually, um, it's related to one of the MIDI port MIDI ports, the MIDI out ports. So for example, C corresponds to MIDI out one, D corresponds to MIDI out two, and then E corresponds to MIDI out three. Now, since I only have one keyboard connected for this uh, uh, video, I'm gonna go to uh, E and select MIDI channel one. Now, for the purpose of this video to make it easy for you, we're just gonna stick to channel one so that it's easier to follow. I'm gonna confirm that uh, selection by clicking E, and then from here, I'll go back one step by clicking the setup button. From here, I'll go to the instrument selection, which is simply, I click on the uh, 
F sharp, and then same thing. I have three buttons here that came on flashing, and they same thing. They mean that they correspond to the uh, to the uh, corresponding MIDI ports. So for example, since I'm using Genos here, I'm going to click on E and select number 12. 12 means that I'm using Genos. Now, keep in mind that all these numbers and all, 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 all these settings are actually in the user manual. So if you go to our website and download the user manual, you'll find all these uh, settings that we are uh, uh, implementing right now, and you can actually use that, that as a guide. So for the Genos, I'm going to select number 12. I'm going to confirm it by clicking on E. And then from here, I'll go back one step and then go back to the uh, last menu, which is the uh, expression pedal calibration. I click on the G. Now I have two keys that came on, which is the uh, uh, G and the F. The G means the maximum value and F means the minimum value. So I'm going to click on G. I'm going to press the pedal all the way up, which indicates maximum volume. I'm going to confirm it by clicking G again. And then I'm going to go back and uh, calibrate the minimum value by clicking on F first. I'll press the pedal all the way down, indicating minimum value, and then I'll confirm it by pressing F again to confirm that value. Um, I'll go back to the main menu by clicking on Setup once. Now, as you can see, we're back to the, uh, to the main menu page, all four LEDs uh, flashing. Before I leave this page, I want to save it so that the settings are in here for the next time use. I'm going to click on Setup for three seconds again. It's going to flash, and then it's going to save my uh, settings. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the Tune Maestro is completed. Now I can use it. So I'm going to use the key, the Maqam of Sega, as an example. All I have to do is press two buttons. I'm going to press Sega first. Now the Tune Maestro is asking me to what scale you want to deploy the Sega. I'm going to uh, choose F. And as you can see, F, uh, Sega now is deployed on the, on the scale of F. <laughs> Moving on to the next feature um, would be the, the presets. The benefit of a presets is it makes the life of a musician um, uh, very, very easy and they can recall any settings they want to recall once they insert it into the Tune Maestro. So for example, let's take a live example. I'm going to deploy uh, a number of microtone, uh, microtones to the a number of keys here and then I'm going to save them to one of the presets that I select. For example, I'm going to deploy uh, minus uh, 65 to the key of A I'm going to click on it for three seconds, it's going to start flashing, and I'm going to go minus 65. I'm going to click on A to confirm. I'm going to click on E, and I'm going to say, for example, plus 30, just for the purpose of the example. I'm going to confirm by clicking on E, and then I'm going to do the last key, which is C sharp, and I'm going to say, for example, plus 50. Now, this scale doesn't mean anything. It just, I'm just using it as an example to show you how I can deploy certain settings and then save them in one of the presets. So I'm going to go to 30 and then confirm it. Now I have C sharp, E, and A. All I have to do at this point is select one of the preset buttons that are empty. There's nothing in them. I can, for example, select preset 1, click it for 3 seconds, and it's going to save this tuning for me, and it's going to stay in the Tune Master. So for example, if I cancel this uh, tuning out, and then go back and deploy it again. All I have to do is hit the preset one again and it comes back as it is. This is one of the great features as we mentioned. And notice, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that we have something also called local quarter tones, which are basically, as you can see, I've separated each key from the, from the, from the main uh, uh, quarter tone that I've deployed in the main menu, we noticed. I used minus 50, but in the local quarter tone, as a feature in the Tune Maestro, is giving me the ability to choose separate microtunes for the separate keys as I want it. Um, so as you can see now, I'm going to cancel this out. I'm going to use another tuning and then save it in a different preset. So let's say, for example, this time I'm going to say uh, G for three seconds. I'm going to say plus 50. Just for the sake of the example, I'm going to choose uh, D this time and say minus 50 and I'm going to say for example uh, A sharp and I'm going to say let's say minus 30 now that I have this microtunnel implemented all I have to do is choose one of the presets 
In this example, since I have preset 1 already preoccupied, I'm going to use preset uh, 2 and save this in preset 2. Same uh, method, just press preset 2 for 3 seconds, it's going to save it. As you can see the key flash, now it's saved. All I have to do is cancel and recall it back by simply pressing preset 2. And if I want to go back to preset 1, whatever tuning I had in there, all I have to do is just cancel it, hit preset 1, and preset 1 comes back up on the screen. Ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate your attendance and your uh, attention to the video. We have came to the conclusion uh, to the end of the video. Uh, we hope we have delivered to you a nice idea, a useful idea, and we want to just get your attention to a couple of points. We did skip a few uh, steps in the process of setting up the Tune Maestro only to kind of save your time or not you know, consume much of your time in the process of connecting the wires, jumping between the instruments, so on and so forth. So all this information is available on our website in the user manual. Uh, visit our website as shown below and uh, get all the information you need. Communicate with us, send us an email via the website. Also follow us on all the uh, social media. Uh, we're happy to answer your questions. I do want to mention some, uh, one point at the end is that the first 20 pieces are discounted at 25%. We made this chance, uh, we gave this chance actually to whoever wants to uh, own some of the early uh, units. After the 20 pieces, the price will go back to normal. Um, at the end, I want to thank everybody who helped us with this. It's a long list of names, so I'm not going to mention all the names. I just want to say thank you to all. Um, we appreciate your time and hopefully we'll see you in the next invention. Thank you.